lovelies, I hope you're all well. Before we jump into the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell and also make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook because I do twice weekly lives on Facebook. So today we're going to look at how we can actually save our smart vinyl and if we're not using a whole width, how we can just get our design and keep our backing intact so that the rest of the width of that area we don't have to cut away and then put on a mat whether that be a mat in joy or a mat on the air or the maker we can keep that area of smart vinyl that we're not using as smart vinyl so i've just got a tiara here which is from design space and i want to make the width Let's make it 1.5. In fact, let's make it 2. That's a little bit small for that one. And then I'm going to grab a shape and a square. Let's make our square a different colour first of all. And then we're going to arrange and centre back. I'm going to unlock it. And then just transform it so it's slightly bigger than my tiara, only slightly. Perfect. I can then either slice this or attach it. I'm going to attach it. That then means that it's gonna cut out my tiara, but it's also gonna cut out my rectangle as well. When we actually get to the bit where I show you what we're doing, you'll understand, but we're going to save our smart material from being cut when we're just using a little bit of it. When I say cut, I mean the backing cut. We can then go to make it. Are we going to use a mat or without a mat? We are using without a mat. Continue. Because we're using without a mat, it knows it's a smart material and we're using smart vinyl shimmer. Surprise, surprise, I changed my mind. I decided to use metallic smart vinyl instead. So you can see that this has cut and we're going to remove our inside of our tiara first which will then give us our tiara and then we're going to move, remove the square and this will then give us a area of our smart vinyl but rather than cutting all of this away we are going to just weed it and then transfer it so the rest of it stays on the smart vinyl backing so we'll then be able to continue treating it as smart vinyl. So as always I'm removing the inner pieces of my design first before I remove the outer. The reason for this is it will stop everything moving around if I do the inner first. I can then remove the outer area because I've put the box round it creates a box. I can now come in and transfer the tiara but the rest of the vinyl stays on the backing so it continues to be smart vinyl. So I can come in with my standard grip transfer tape and place it over my design. If it goes on to the remaining area of my vinyl it's not the end of the world. I'm then going to come in with a scraper and I'm going to scrape, but I'm only really going to scrape where the actual design is. Now if I scrape on the other parts of the vinyl, again, it's not the end of the world. I also want to scrape from the back, but uh, I don't know what happened to my camera. You've seen me transfer vinyl enough times. In my previous video, which I'll link to above, I showed you how you can transfer smart vinyl. There's a certain technique to it. So you're going to use the bend over, push and roll technique, but you're going to do it so that you only transfer your image and the rest of the vinyl stays on the backing. We've removed our design, but we've kept the rest of the vinyl on the backing so it can continue to be used without a mat. And then of course we can transfer our design onto whatever base we would like to. 
As always, thank you so much for watching me. I hope this has been informative. If you've got any questions, please do put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.